in this video I'll just give you a quick guide of running your controller for your PS3 controller or Xbox controller on your PC. Um, if you want to play games like The Witcher 3, uh, which requires, doesn't require, but which you can use a controller for gameplay if you'd like that console feel to be played on your PC. Now, what you do is you just go into your browser, you type in what I normally use is I use, uh, I think, Motion Joy. Um, I find it to be the most reliable program. Um, you just download that now, um, and then if download doesn't start, click here, but that's fine. Save file. So we'll just save that file. Uh, we'll just open it straight up, and then when when it's fully downloaded, it doesn't take long. There we go. It's downloaded. Now we want to extract it. We'll extract this to the desktop. So we go desktop, um, and then we click. Uh, just create a folder for it, new folder, um, Motion Joy. Um, okay, and then it's created the folder. Now, in here, it will just have your program, application, Motion Joy. Just double click on that. Okay, uh, now just uh, allow it, just what needs to make some changes. We'll just put it in our C drive, Motion Joy. We click next and then motion joy next create desktop icon create quick launch icon and then next install and click run ds3 tool okay now we've got the ds3 tool it's up and loaded now what you want to do now is you want to just uh, test out your controller so get your controller and um, plug it into your usb port on your pc um, should I'm plugging into a USB 3 port 3.0 it should still work um, now now you want to go to device manager which is on the top left and you want to click on that allow and then in there you'll find the driver you just tick that so you tick the driver and you click load driver on there and then it should load the driver for your uh, controller that you've plugged into the USB so here we go so I'm just loading the driver now Okay, and now the driver is loaded, and then it should start showing a charging arc icon. For my PlayStation controller, it's just showing as so it's charging. I'm going to use the uh, Xbox control configuration on here. Okay, vibration is working, and got that on there. Minimize that. Okay, so we've got our Xbox controller set up working on our PS3 controller we just run the Witcher 3 the Wild Hunt we want to run this as administrator then we click yes here we skip press X to skip so press X okay X again to skip Okay, skip. All right, so our control is connected and we can continue playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Okay, so I'll just go into the game and we'll load it. Shouldn't take too long to load. Um, I'm trying not to give any spoilers if you guys haven't played The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt yet. But, um, yeah, um, that's basically it, really. Um, and that's how you run your controller. So let's just give it a quick demonstration in the game. Okay, so we're in the game, and I'm using the controller now. Okay. Okay. There we go. And yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys. I'm Lucas D. Thanks for watching. See you.